Nikki versus Meg. I love them both, but we being real. My new bitch look like Tyler Perry. But she don't love me, she's too scary. Hey y'all. Let me put some little gloss on, actually. Alright. Can't be on camera with no crusty lips. Like, I'm real. I'm so real, y'all. Hey y'all, back with another video. It's Michaela. You know who I am. Like, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. If you don't know, now you know. Like, come on. Join the fam. The girlies. This one of the videos, like, you get a little snack with. You know, you sit at the table, you prop that phone up, and you get a snack with. Because we're about to get messy. I am, first off, let me fix my necklace. I am a certified yapper. If I can do anything, I can yap. You can count on me to yap. Okay, clock it. But today, y'all, I'm just doing an unpopular opinions video. Never did one of these, but I feel like I'm a very opinionated girl. Like, if there's anything I'm going to do, I'm going to speak my mind. And now I have a YouTube to speak my mind. Like, what more can I ask for? So, yeah. Today, we're going to be getting into all the tea, all that. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, the usual. Don't be no hater. Don't be watching me from the sidewalk. Watch me from the house. Be a real one. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all do that, and then we're going to jump into this video. Duh. Y'all have put all the things in my little phone. So, if y'all wonder what I'm looking at, I'm just looking at the pins. All right, let's get into the first one. Nikki versus Meg. It's been a battle, it's been an uphill, it's been a downhill fight. You know, it's really been too much. I'm gonna be honest, I love them both, but if we being real, if we being real, this for this, Meg ate her up. I'm be You need to be honest, y'all. I did not like Bigfoot. I, Bigfoot, I did not like Bigfoot. It was just giving like more like I don't know to say like she already had that song in the vault. It just didn't give. And let's be real, Megan ate her up with that Megan's Law line. It really grasped your attention. It really took you by the shirt. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. But regardless of that. It's the fact that people are going to lint to give out people other information. You're too invested. I'm going to be honest. If you have time to look up where somebody lives, where they work, who their mama is, find their Facebook, find this, find that, all because you don't like a certain artist, seek help. Why did you take time out your day where you could be doing any other things just to find out where this person lives? Then, not only did you find out where they live, you posted it on Instagram or Twitter. It's mainly Twitter to tell everybody they live here. Just because they don't like Nikki or just because they don't like Meg. You have too much time on your hands. Bitch, go find a hobby. You need a hobby. I'm going to be honest. You need to start crocheting, sewing, painting, reading. You need something in your life because you got too much time on your hands. I'm so real. Like... You have too much time on your hands to be doing that. But, like, and, like, the thing with Nikki's husband, I don't really know too much about that. I heard he was a offender, you know, a criminal. I don't know too much on that. But I don't like how I've seen people defending the husband, too. Because if that's real, if that's really real, like, what he did or whatever, y'all defending a criminal just because you like his wife? We ain't gonna say too much on that, cause I'm just saying if that was your cousin husband and he did that, you would not be going this hard. <laughs> Let's be real. If that was your cousin husband and he came to the Thanksgiving and you knew all that stuff, you would not be going that hard. Love Nikki, 
Love Meg. Both music are fire. You know, they, they're they great rappers. Do I feel like they should be going head to head? Nah, I feel like we should all just be girls, girls. But that's just not the way life works, I'm be honest. But lastly, on that, I don't like how Megan brung up her mom. I'm going to be honest. Well, she brung up her husband. She brung up family first. I just feel like it's levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Her mother's dead. She brung up somebody that's alive. That's just me. I feel like it's certain things she don't play about, like children or like dead, really like that. But that's just me. Next topic is... OnlyFans. I really don't have a negative opinion about OnlyFans. It's just giving like, if that's the way you're going to make your money, that's the way you're going to make your money. Like, I really don't feel any type of way. I don't be like, ew, she does OnlyFans. Or like, it's never, it never gives that. Because if you're doing that, you know you get on Twitter late at night and, and who you watching? OnlyFans people. Okay, so don't act like you're just better than the OnlyFans people when you go... When you go home and watch them at night. That's all I'm going to say about that. OnlyFans this, OnlyFans that. But baby, when you get home at night and them lights turn off and you put that phone up, you watching them. So, you know, it's, I don't know. I, my opinion is really just towards people that act like they're above them or like hypocritical. Knowing they go and flick that bean to them at 8 p.m. <laughs> That's all, baby. This is my unpopular opinion about service providers. Y'all don't be wanting to make no money for real. Y'all don't be wanting to make no money for real. I'm be dead ass. Y'all do not want to make no money. Why do I have to beg you to do my lashes? Bitch, that's your job. Like, what are we, what are we talking about here? Why? I could have swore that said lashes by K. This might be a little biased, but y'all text this girl. She did my lashes like previous time. I texted her, I was just like, hey, do you have a little availability for a fill? Why is say seen? Bitch, you couldn't even tell me no. <laughs> like, I'm about to get mad. <laughs> you couldn't even tell me no. I could have swore this say lashes by blank. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know, just making sure I'm not tripping. Oh, okay. Let me let me read your Instagram again. Lashes by hmm. Okay. <laughs> you don't wanna make no money for real. Not to be rude or nothing, but that's your job. <laughs> is you gonna do it or not? Next popular opinion is I've been seeing it around like TikTok? No, I seen it on Twitter. Okay, Boston Richie, he's a rapper, right? And he dates this girl. She's really pretty, really gorgeous. I don't know her name, but I will put her on the screen right now. Okay, but he dates her. Boston Richie is... Let me search this up for they eat me up in the comments, okay? Let me, let me search this up. I won't be wrong. All right, Boston Richie is 27, y'all. 1997. And the girl is 18. So... Basically, like, I guess it came out that they're, like, dating or talking or whatever. But, basically, the debate is, like, people, some people are saying, like, oh, y'all act like y'all ain't never dated a, a, a older nigga before, da 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 Keep in mind, though, y'all, the girl just turned 18. She not, like, been 18 or nothing, like, that birthday was about yesterday. And he's 27. And then some people are saying, like, um, y'all just mad that she's pretty. Y'all just mad that she's gorgeous. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. The girl is gorgeous. And the body, like, she's a full package. Don't get me wrong. She's a beautiful girl. But, baby, this nigga 30. It just gets in my mind. It's like. If that was me, I'd be like, "You 27, right? You a rapper? You got money? Cool, cool, cool. What you doing with me? I'm fresh out of high school. That would just kind of make me side eye him, like, baby, is you a pedo? Like, you like children? 
Don't bring that nigga by around your niece. Okay? Don't bring him around your niece. But I'm just saying, like, that's... I feel like people try to normalize that, but y'all, that's not normal. A 27-year-old with a girl straight out of high school, that's not normal. If it if she if he was like I don't know like twenty or something twenty one, okay twenty seven. I don't know about that one. I ain't gonna say too much on it because I feel like that's common sense. You're going to jail. You're done. <laughs> okay. I'm watching you. It's a popular opinion. So, I think recently the... Y'all, let me be correct. Let me be politically correct. Let me see, y'all. I'm trying to see if this is the 49ers or the Chiefs. They both red. I'm confused. Alright, I don't know if, it's the, if these are the 49ers or the Chiefs. We just gonna say the girlfriends of the players, they made a TikTok, right? And, you know, I'm gonna do a little clip in... It's like the, of course, I'm a NFL girlfriend. We're going to Super Bowl type stuff. But it shows all, like, all these girls, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girls. It's the comments, though. The comments really, they really blew me. They really aggravated me. So, I'm going to see if I can put some comments up in here. Okay, we've seen the comments. But basically, the comments are, like, calling the girls, oh, they're basic. I have a chance. They're so mid. These are NFL girlfriends. Like, basically, downplaying the looks of the girls. Keep in mind, the girls are beautiful, y'all. They they get real natural. Like, I feel like, so when did natural equal mid? When we start doing that, you know what I'm saying? When did we make natural equal mid or basic? I need y'all to keep in mind, natural bodies are the norm? <laughs> what are we talking about? You're not supposed to be getting a Buffalo Brazilian butt lift in your ass. That's not the real. So I feel like social media has really like killed our brain cells. I'm gonna be honest. These girls are beautiful, y'all. Beautiful black ladies. I don't I don't I don't remember if it was any other race in there. I think it's just black girls, but they're beautiful. And the comments are really like degrading. Like, but keep in mind. It's black girls degrading them. Talking about their basic. I pull up your page. Bitch, you look like you, you belong on a corner. Bitch, you look like a lady of the night. What are we talking about here? You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that really aggravates me. Because it's like, you're calling her basic because she don't have a fucking three rounds of BBL lip filler and all that. Bitch, you don't even have your hair done. It. Stole the phone. Clock it. Downloaded a text now at clock it. Made a number. Clock it. Text. It was never gonna be you. <laughs> it was never gonna be you. Like I'm so dead ass serious. Y'all blue. Only we gotta look at my phone for the next topic. Crush on rock. After a while, I just stopped getting surprised by uh, Crush on. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Like I would see. I don't even follow the shade room anymore, y'all. But. After a while, like, every time, you know, you'll see somebody repost it, I'm not surprised anymore. Or you see it on TikTok, I'm like, yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> From my understanding, she was supposed to be done with Blueface after, um, like, I'm pretty sure he posted his son's, um, private on Instagram, Twitter. I don't know what social media it was, but he basically posted a picture. I didn't see the picture, don't want to see the picture, but that's what happened. So after that, you know, she said, she's done, she's hurt, like, how could you do this to my son? All which is very, um, understandable, like, why is my baby Peter Wacker on the internet? I'm on Instagram one day. Why is that nigga whole face on your face? <sighs> I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't believe it, Jesus. I used to feel so bad for Krishan. I was like, he's manipulating her. He doing this, he doing that. She's just in love and all that. Y'all. Yeah. 
I don't know what it is at this point, y'all. I don't know what that is, baby. That's that's something else, y'all. I'm going to be honest. That, I don't know what that is. I think he went to jail. They reconnected. I really didn't read. Y'all, I can't get too much into it because it's going to aggravate me. So I'm just going on what, what I've seen on the internet. Why is that man face on your face, Krishan? You're a, y'all, she's so pretty. Like, if you go watch Krishan's old videos, I see, like, pictures of her. She was, like, a track runner. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl, y'all. What's going on? Make me want to brush my hair and shit. Like, let me get myself together. Got me stressing and shit. Like, you know, some shit just make you take a deep breath. After a man has disrespected your child, it's like, you know how people be like, I don't want to choose between my men and my kids. There's no choice. What the fuck? Like, there's no choice, baby. It's always going to be your kids. Like, what are we talking about? What's the choice? And I just... To say, you need to teach you something. Because the fuck? What the hell? Girl, she need to teach you something. She need to knock some real sense into you, cuz... My last popular opinion is about her name is Raven. And basically, Twitter has just been going on a rant about her body count. I don't know how many bodies she actually has, but from what they say, you know, what I see on Twitter, everybody says she has 106 bodies. Don't get me wrong. That is a number. That's a number. That's definitely a number. But it's like... Why are we so invest invested in her life? Once again, you bitches need a hobby. Like, y'all really take the time out your day to get on your phone, get these thumbs working, y'all start stretching these bitches because y'all be having something to say. Type a rude-ass message. Send it. No, before you even sent it, you read it again. You know, gotta make sure for the typos. Gotta make sure for the typos. It's good. Sent it. Like, what did you gain from that? I don't know. She's not flaunting it. She's just like... I think she's just being real. Because, honestly, she could have lied to you motherfuckers and said she had two. But, no, she was real. Y'all don't, don't like real. Y'all don't like real. Y'all want... I just feel like the world would be a better place if everybody minded their business. Like... But, y'all, uh, that was my last unpopular opinion... It's not a long video. You know, this literally just a video of me yapping. Okay, y'all, before I end out this video, you know I have to do my K's wise words. My wise words for this video is get a hobby. I feel like if everybody had a hobby, it would, you know, make it easier for everybody to mind their business. Because it's like, when you think you about to go talk to somebody, you like, oh, no, girl, let me go do my painting real quick. You know, let me go paint real quick. I feel like that would really help the world. Get you a hobby. Uh, Barb's, Meg fans, don't dox me. I'm just a girl, okay? Long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on them private dress, taking trips, come back at six, wake me and your child, and then won't lay today, make me wonder who you might have been playing with.